Hello and welcome to Only Stupid Answers. My name is Sam Basher. My name is DJ Wooldridge. My name is Roxy Stryer. Burr, burr, burr. This is the show where we talk about Doom <laughs> Patrol over on DC Universe. Specifically today, we're talking about the penultimate episode called Penultimate Patrol. Whew, that was a hard word for me. Season 1, Episode 14, Quickie Synopsis. With the help of Flex and Danny the Street, the Doom Patrol enter the white space to rescue the chief from Mr. Nobody. But nobody offers them a deal that's hard to resist. Kicking it off, gang, we get to see a flashback to human uh, Mr. Nobody. Yeah. And that was, I thought that scene was really cool. They talked about the brotherhood. He was like an intern yeah, or they, something. Yeah, they, they let him go. It's like, did you tell him about your robot? Yeah. They replaced me with a gorilla. He's smart though. He's a guy who can speak yeah, French. He can speak French. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> that's I, Monsieur Mala, by the way. Which is so cool. From the comics. And he is a French speaking gorilla that yep. wears a beret and has yep. a big gun. Yep. It's mm. great. Season two, a, baby. Season two. I'm Give so it to excited. me. Season two. You can do a gorilla. You've got the gorilla grot assets. Just throw a beret on that boy. It's, it's all almost you gotta do. the same thing. Yeah. So yes, they are basically the same <laughs> character. Yeah. One's does mind control. I. What did you guys think of his lady? I like the. I like the idea. He's like you're just a nobody. I like the. I like the setup enough for it because I'm like, of course this guy's this petty. Of course this guy, mm-hmm. the guy rejected by the Brotherhood of Evil, is so petty that he can't let this go. But why do people dislike how Han Solo got his name if you like how Mr. Nobody gets his? Because that was a bad scene. I, love, <laughs> I and loved also, that scene. Oh, okay. oh no, I, you, like I think it. you like it too. Where, do you like it? I'll I, speak for you. No, I, I don't. You. I don't know if I like that scene. I think scene. I'm the only oh, one on did. Earth we, that does. I, we, I didn't hate Solo. I didn't hate I Solo either. I just that scene. I think it's okay when you're dead. On, it's a, these these movies. I'm gonna be TV honest. Shows. I didn't love it. I, I didn't love this scene. Like, oh really? I didn't love this. Like you're a nobody. Like all right. I like that. No. I, and I feel that way. You, it's like you, the last thing you want to do is call somebody who is a nobody a nobody because then they become a somebody and use that as anger. Mm-hmm. That That's happens? the rule. Them's, yeah. Sorry, them's the rule. Them's, them's the, the rules. You know that, rules. Sam. Sam, you're a somebody. Know that, okay? And you guys were talking about, for those that don't Thank know, uh, we talk about all the superhero shows on patreon.com slash almost uh, uh, oh, answers, excuse well, me. Click right there. Um, and you guys were mentioning on that show that you love liked uh flex from last episode and he's processing whatever happened look at that man's body that i I'm look at distracted. his leg i don't know okay tell me if this is bad so I'm anyway what's happening here is he's, he's hugging basically he's hugging danny the street he is I, but i'm distracted i'm so distracted by him yeah. <laughs> i felt his his body is crazy i like I said this, this actor so much though yeah. i do too he he has the perfect chest hair mm-hmm. for the role he has the i don't know how he did that yeah. did they manicure it is it fake it's perfect yeah what There's is, a cricket ah, in this Kelly room. Kelly Clarkson. There's a cricket in Name this. Name that movie. It's from 40-Year-Old 40 40 Virgin. Virgin. Well, if you guys are going to acknowledge me, acknowledge me properly. I'm sorry. Yeah. There is a cricket in this room. I, I have to cricket. say something. We built Cricket City. Wait, really quick. Room tone? There we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, so we're on our way to Danny the Street, and this is great because I totally forgot that ha- more than half of our cast has never met Danny yeah. before. And it's like, wait, I didn't tell you about the teleporting transsexual street oh yeah. Uh, yeah let's go talk it's D- danny's great you'll love them yeah yeah they're amazing and we get an update on beard hunter beard hunter's doing great confusing based yeah. on the last place we left him yeah but... where we left him off i don't know how he's here but i really like that actor all his all his stuff this episode his reactions to everything is hilarious Pube stalker uh beard hunter yeah, yeah. <laughs> and same thing basically it's amazing ew oh yeah, yeah. ew um no, I, I not the same thing i i, I mean i mean he's gross in either way yeah. He's getting uh, yeah. a little horny for beards, but yeah. I, I really, Literally. I like the use of that character. He said, "No, I'm better now. They got me off the, they got me off, off the beard. beard. Yeah. I'm doing way better." I just want them to keep incorporating all of these animal, ves- vegetable, mineral man, yeah. beard, beard hunt. hunter, like for years and years to come. I, yeah, I hope they have. Ste- I hope these actors have steady work because yes. of this show. Yeah. Because they're great. Like you can live for a year off of the one or two episodes you are doing on yeah. this show mm-hmm. every year. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just a tiny bit convenient that Danny knew exactly where Mr. Nobody is. Oh, uh, the whole time? Yeah, we have a... I, I'm okay. I'm okay with Danny knowing. Um, I just don't know if I liked how it was revealed exactly. I like that he protects the people who live on his street. Yeah. He accepts them as family. So it's like, okay, calm down. Also... Fourteen episodes in, and Hammerhead now has eyeshadow to be like very clear that that's Hammerhead. Yeah, that's a strange move. Because the other one was a chest might have been tattoo confused. that was covered up. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, in PC culture today, also, do we call Danny the Street a uh, he? Them, them, them. them. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Pan- so or, yeah, tr- tr- 
Yep, I'm going to stop there and just say them. them. And also, so I, uh, they, they're them, or Danny the Streets pronouns. Yes. yes. Okay. I love this character. Mm-hmm. I think that they are hysterical. Using the steam and like the letters on the street, and also, I don't know how the the inflatable man said Larry, and then it didn't later. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. It's cool. Yeah, no. I agree. Uh, even just the, the stills, yeah. they're funny yeah. and weird and and great. And they work. And thank God you have something electronic in your in your mm-hmm. screen that he can just. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna just need to need to type at this point. Yeah, it works. So a bulk of this episode takes place in the white space, which is where Danny reveals Mr. Nobody is hiding. And I love it. This is 100% a Grant Morrison con- concept that the white space is where th- there's no story. <laughs> So if you're looking at a comic, it's the it's the panel borders, and this made me like 100% the show needs in a later season needs to do Animal Man because Animal Man tackles all this stuff too. The um, best part about the white space though was as we were trying to get there, where we ended up an accidental we flex, flex uh, an accidental flex of the wrong muscle. But I thought when he said accidental flex of the wrong muscle, he was gonna talk about the wrong muscle. No, I don't and think it was a, ba- a different back muscle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I I like that because it's it's not that blue of a joke. Yeah, the yeah, joke yeah. is still funny where it's like, uh oh, what are we feeling? It's like everyone you feeling that? Like, what it is also that? sets up something Robot Man deals with later in the episode. It's yeah. a good way of establishing the fact that he doesn't have physical feelings anymore, and he and his brain can't process it. That part was a little confusing, but it, the flex makes. People orgasm. So yeah. there you go. And that was the Everybody. person on yeah. the bike was my favorite. Where like her legs are out, she's like, whoa. Yeah. And she's and Beardman oh. has a cig or Beard Hunter has a cigarette for the other guy near him with yeah. the beard. And then and then so Danny. Danny Danny, Danny with, with Oh Street. my God. Mm-hmm. What did it for say before? Oh my God. Oh my God. And fireworks are no, going on. No, before off. Oh my God, it was like oh oh oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> and it's just going by <laughs> a street. Oh, that's a bummer. But hey, the street can get off, but Robot Man can. Yeah, but them's the rules. Can I ask yeah. a uh, um, grocer question yeah. that isn't a blue where did uh did anybody go clean up you know what here's what i'll say i hope so uh because they all just kept like walking walking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone was like who yeah and i'm just thinking <laughs> better go for you all know what just happened to yeah. the rest of you yeah. this isn't like in sixth grade when guys had their first situation yeah. class maybe and had to go everybody knows you just did yeah, it go, yeah. go clean cover yourself up. yeah just mr nobody go clean hey those bandages. listen listen we've established that basically danny needs a party going 24 7 so who knows what's on those streets all yeah. right so those are some gross streets we go to the white space and i really so everybody's presented with Basically, their dream classic supervillain, like, hey, if you know. Which don't. they've done before, the negative of it. And yeah. now it's the positive of, like, he's offering you something that's eh, pretty tantalizing. Kind of. And, I, and it's a good way for them to acknowledge how our characters have grown. I was pretty changed. proud of them. Yeah, same. All of them. Uh, I thought that, especially uh, especially how Jane in the end, I all of a sudden was like, oh, are we doing spoilers? <laughs> yeah. And especially how Jane overcomes in the end, too, and is able to get out of there but each one of them finally making that decision was so cool yeah and that's why i'm actually glad that we are on episode 14 and we got that this season yeah and and i think um one of my favorite scenes in the whole thing is when because of course mr nobody because he can't shut up is narrating their their whole situation and then when jane takes over not jane rita, uh, rita takes over the narration that was just like, badass. Yeah, that was my, one of my favorite moments in this whole show. I she thought get, it was really cool. And also telling him to like fuck off when she walks out of the out of the tent. Mm-hmm. I love that Larry clearly has grown. And he also, Mr. Nobody's narration, it's like, oh yeah, he came out of the closet at the ripe old age of 95. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, real brave of you. And it's like, that sucks, but also it he still grew. Is, yeah. He grew. Yeah. And I, I love that. And going back to what you just said about the Rita thing, it made the most sense for her character as well. Because think about how many scripts she's read. That And especially back in those days, not that there aren't great female roles but they were different yeah and i'm sure a million times she read scripts and was like for once i just want my character to be the one who yeah. saves the day or does something and she got to write the script here and as the actress of the group now becoming the narrator she's writing the story i thought that that was so cool yeah, yeah. it she is the narrator she is the storyteller of her own life and she gets to make those decisions and not their lives else. and their lives too. and then when rita walks out she sees i like that robot man and she and they hi, can all rita. hear that <laughs> it's great oh hi <laughs> and it was cool seeing brennan frazier back that that scene was like yeah this is the most tempting for him yeah that it's like you get 
all the sensations back. You're having a beer, yeah. you're doing it, yeah. and you're cheating on your wife of a bad, bad guy. Mm-hmm. But I did feel, I know it's not real, but I felt, I felt bad, bad for, for the mistress. She mm-hmm. was like, hey. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Don't say that to me. Yeah. And also with how, when we learn, we'll get to in a second, but when we learn Mm-hmm. The cricket is uh, so loud; so it loud. feels like Mister Nobody's narrating us right now. Um, but no, he's when, messing with us. When you learn more about uh, Niles, is when they get his reveal. The idea of these like little pocket dimensions where they could live out. I'm like, oh crap, that actually might be. You might actually be offering them something real. You probably mm-hmm. not because it's Mister Nobody, yeah. but possibly. But, but after what we learn, you may have been offering an actual. An actual, an actual option. Yeah. Um, and getting into like the kind of like cyclical, time loopy um, situation with the robot. I like that they realized that one robot from that Mr. Nobody tried to pitch to the yeah. Brotherhood of Evil. And in this scenario, it's going through, it's killing them over and over and over again. They had three different versions and they recycled it. Yeah, you <laughs> had much. a couple different yeah. takes of in between, but the um, effects budget was for just the uh, three different deaths. Yeah. What did you guys feel about the Cyborg Silas situation? Ooh, we got to talk about this because I think. Sticking to their guns and saying that, you know, your little concerns with Silas, they were founded. They were not unfounded. He He's not a good, good person. He is a good person to a fault, but also he is a little too... A, a little too selfish to fully understand his impact that he's had on his son. More the ver- uh, I'm curious of your ver- the version of the truth in this story. Do you like the way that this storyline is telling history? Yes. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me, if I'm being honest, because I don't know why Silas would feel the need to change. Like, listen, I could only save one of you. I chose you. I don't know why you'd need to hide that. I don't know why it makes you look bad. I, I honestly don't understand. It doesn't sound like... I don't see how that's a better version of the truth for him even than what Cyborg believed. Like, I, I don't I don't understand. Like I felt the exact same way, DJ. Yeah. I think that it was six of one, half a dozen the other. Yeah. I didn't feel like it made Silas look better or it made Vic feel better about himself. So yeah. I was confused why we told a different lie that didn't help, yeah. was, that was no better than the truth. If you're going to make up a lie... It's why don't like you make it so that about... he didn't kill his own mom? Exactly. And like, why Why did you pick that lie? Why don't you implant different memories and pick a better lie that clears both of you guys? Yeah, because it's not like I could... The, the one thing that you cover up is like, I could have saved both of you, but I chose you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, it, it could have been fix you completely or fix both of you mostly. So I just picked you. That's something you lie about. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is one of those I really I had no other choice. And you picked your kid? Duh. And that's what you say to him. We loved you so much. Your mom would have wanted this i wanted this too yeah. we picked you is better than you you did this mm-hmm. no okay so i understand the criticisms that you're saying what i had understood from this situation was this is not a conversation that he and his dad had ever had yeah to this point and about what had happened all he the story he was told was your mom died in the accident mm-hmm. so you don't have like I, and as sad as that is you have an opportunity to live now yeah. and you don't have to think about the fact that your dad in his dad, in his own eyes, killed his wife. Like but, he could, he had to choose to save his son over his wife, even though he knew that was the right decision. He didn't know if he could tell his son that. Sam, they had this conversation though, because Silas said every day, every day I told you this for, and that's why yeah. you started to well, believe he, it. He said he told it a lie. He didn't say like he said like he had repeated that story. That not not that he didn't understand the ramifications he was having on Cyborg, as into connecting that it was Cyborg's fault. He said there was an accident. And that still could have been Cyborg's fault. Yeah. But they both didn't die. And he said that your mom died because he didn't want to have to tell his kid that he chose to save his son over his wife. Okay. And also the idea that, oh, not only did you mess up Vic, and let's just say your mom died because we don't have to think about that she suffered and I had to make a decision of losing my wife over saving my son. Yeah. And like that's also a pretty difficult conversation to have as well. Is it clean? No, I'll give you that. It's yeah, not clean. I, but... I, I think if they phrased it more like you're phrasing it now, I would. If he's if if they phrased it more like I told you every day that your mom died in the accident, I didn't think about the fact that you would blame yourself for that. Right. That would have the way they the way it's phrased is I told you a specific lie that you killed your mom. <laughs> And now and I'm now weirded out that it may traumatize you. Like yeah. it's so confusing. Interesting. Okay, I so I didn't I didn't gather that way. I can understand why you guys did. Yeah. I, but, I, yeah. I don't hate it. I just thought it wasn't that smart. And he's mm-hmm. supposed to be super duper smart. So mm-hmm. if we're gonna tell a specific lie, 
clear both your names. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you're smart enough to know if you tell him that this happened in an accident, he's going to take partial responsibility. And I don't believe that even if they didn't have the conversation, he has access to, to Vic's thoughts. Yeah. He has access to his brain. To, not to his memories. Not to his mind. That's why he says, I didn't change your programming. I just told you a story that you believed yeah, over and over again. It was the organic part that messed and up. And just like what but, Mr. Nobody messed with. But yeah. Vic has seen what's gone on inside. Uh, Silas has seen what's gone on inside Vic's brain. I don't think Do we so. Know that? Because no, we've seen what's gone and on. And they've argued about it before. That's how he knew. Remember when he chimed in? And we've seen Vic talk to all the other people. Guys, I killed my mom. Yeah. So Silas is able to oh, hear oh, that. that yeah. I, I'm not saying he can all the inner thoughts, yeah. are, but he has access he's to when seen, he's not there. He's seen, or at least he could now. He can now look at his thoughts because they're digitally recorded. So I just think that it doesn't make sense that he would have. What you felt responsible? I never saw that. Yes, you did. But no. I, to a sense, no. To a sense, no. I don't. I think it's fair to think that you just don't want your son to think that he. To have your son feel even more guilty that your mom actually did survive the accident that you caused, and I had to choose that she had to die. Then he would feel less guilty. No, nah, I don't no, think I don't if a kid if either. a kid would then have direct reason to blame you for the death of his mom, because that's an easy. As a kid, you can now say you can take a little bit of blame off yourself a little bit and no. be like, "But you chose. You could have let me die and let her live." Hmm. And but then, like, and also it does allow the door to be open to. Uh, Silas is the reason for the explosion. Mm-hmm. Because now we know that Silas is, or sorry, not Silas. Vic. Niles. Oh, Niles, no. we find out, admits that he is responsible for all of their accidents. Oh, and I will tell you guys, I'm so smart. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. I knew this was coming. Yeah, yeah you can kind of feel, you can feel it in your jellies. No, mm-hmm. I can feel sorry. it in my jellies. Roxy called it. Um, and I, it's also in the comic, but Roxy called it. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Roxy called it before, before the comic. Before the comic. I think that this is great. I think that this is so smart. What an asshole. Yeah, because what because, an ass. Because I don't care about Silas's mini lie or mm-hmm. anybody else who's done something like Rita's baby yeah. situation or anything or cheating or any of the things that these characters have done because they did not do what Mr. Nobody did, mm-hmm. which is horrible. You and mean I, what Niles did? Sorry, what yeah, Niles yeah. did, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is horrible. I mean, Mr. What Nobody Chief did. Some horrible things. Yeah, no. Mr. Nobody also, but. Like, Chief is supposed... We knew that about Mr. Nobody. Yeah. Chief is supposed to be... We've been looking for him all season. Yeah. You knew he was... It, something's up. Yeah. You know, something's you up. Knew, you yeah. knew. But I think that this is... That they're actually going through with this is is going to make for the most badass season, too. Yeah. No. and But also, it's kind of a way of getting Niles off the show, if you wanted to. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, you don't get to live here anymore. It's your house, but yeah. go ahead and get it. Or we move out We move can somewhere. only afford you for four to five episodes. And at that, <laughs> not even hold the whole time. <laughs> very slow, very specific scenes. Friends I, and family discount, guys. Uh-huh. I did like the reveal that, like, Cyborg wasn't there, because it's like, oh, wait, he has a super cool hoodie. He probably doesn't have time to go pick up that hoodie. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. Even though it was cool. It also felt like a throwback to um, Smallville. The hoodie had in Smallville a little bit. Yeah, which they added to the comics a couple times. Which, yeah. Like, it's fun. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I liked I thought that when he trapped him in the loop, it went on for a little too long. A little too long, yeah. Um, but uh, I like that reveal. I kind of wish this wasn't called the penultimate patrol, because I, I feel like it could have fooled you more. That, like, hey, this is the finale. They fixed it. You know what I mean? Because that's the way it feels. And then there's the swerve at the end. Mm-hmm. So right up top, in Paul's Patrol, control, it's like, well, it can't be done. They mm-hmm. do fully admit in this that it's a streaming show, which I thought was like, this is that super was cool. Weird. It's Meta. like, yeah, sorry, if you need a catch up, there's a previously on in the next episode. So just wait for that. Yeah. So good. Really and good. But also then Jane's persona says, so you think this is a streaming show? And it's like, oh, God, our, our main characters are now admitting this is a show. <laughs> this is so bonkers. What does this mean? Bonkers. The least I've ever hated Hammerhead was in this episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When, when she comes out to get the chairs out of the room so she can leave the room. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Hammerhead, you do have purpose. <laughs> and not just I, a yeah, hammer. Yeah, good yeah. for you. Sometimes we need a little anger in our lives to mm-hmm. move forward. Yeah, to kind of push. Also, it's just like, yeah, it's the, the this, this fuck you attitude is dope. Like, it's like, no, we've been pushing so hard we can't win to be better. Let us be better. Don't just sit in this room. Wait, remember when the doctor came out though? That was and he was like, 
this is the one of you you want to show right now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the big fight. <laughs> but so... I did like it. It's like, oh, you did this for all for every. You did everything because of a woman. It's yeah. like that's really also that's, that's, sad, that's super, honey. That's super oh, sad. Honey. Like, I don't want to fight you now. Like yeah. you seem pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's fair if we fight you at this point. And again, I feel like they put put the door open a little bit that he could be part of the quote unquote part of the part team of the next team. season. I mean, if if they hate Chief now, don't you think he could be with them? Not Chief. Uh, Mr. Nobody. Mr. Could Nobody. Be on. Yeah. I, I don't know. Somehow. Some way. Honestly, the best case scenario is that we leave them where they were. We leave Niles and Mr. Nobody to their own devices somewhere else. Well, we got to resolve the whole cave woman situation. We do. I'm guessing in this episode to kind of mirror episode one What do you is mean? Th- She's Mona. Very good point. Shout out to Legends. Um, I, I think what? A, I think in a mirror to the premiere of this season is showing us the origins one more time and being like how is how is niles directly responsible for this yeah i think probably the one that would be the most complicated to explain is larry because that's a big entity out in the, space yeah but also um uh robot man because it was a car accident i mean you could have parked the car out there that yeah, part is so. it, that's a the one that the one that makes the most sense because it always felt the weirdest uh it always felt like we were missing part of the story is rita Rita, They're yeah. Explaining that he was responsible. He's like, that makes sense because there was just the thing in the water. Like, it always felt like we were missing a piece of the puzzle on and, that one. Yeah. And Jane, too. That one yeah. feels like you that that seems teed up the most. Yeah. Where it's like, yeah, you knew where to pick her up. So you yeah. probably just did that to her, saw what happened, and then you took her. Bad news bears. Bad news bears for everybody. I'm... I think we're going to get some tears in the next episode, and I'm very excited to see how the season wraps up. And then we're getting Swamp Thing right after. Oh, man, that's nuts. It's so Swamp cool. Thing starting the ne- the week after. It's May, May 31st. 31st, right? So There you go. So, yeah. Yeah. yes. That's yes. crazy. I'm very excited for that. And we already rated this episode on Super TV, but what, would we, what did we rate it again? 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, Roxy Stryer. At DJ Talks Trash. At Sam Basher. Also, let us know how to get rid of this cricket. There you go. It's uh, unreal. I thought I found it, and I didn't. Um, but if you can find it, let us know on Patreon. You can check it out there. Maybe over there. I hope they're able to zoom in, and it's like right, right. behind yeah. us the whole time. Be, like, it's bouncing it. off yeah. us. I want, Germany. I, I don't want to kill it, but I, I kind of do. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.